to speak. Did you flip a coin? She always speaks. She always speaks. <laughs> yeah, good. And uh, they have 17 employees. They used to work for the limited. Uh, they do staffing. So if somebody needs something creative done, uh, they will go and find the people, a lot of freelancers. And I think it's a really cool business, a really cool office, great building, two women running it. And uh, they're doing pretty well. Any, are any of you employees of this? Okay, just, just you. The rest are Oh, okay. And so, uh, so it's pretty exciting what they're doing. And uh, uh, they're in Pittsburgh working with Giant Eagle, and they're here working with the Limited. And I don't know all their clients, but um, so it's a really, um, it's an exciting company because it's a creative company. And, uh, you know, they, uh, you could probably help members of the press to understand how they can. Well, they're creative enough. Let me think. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Well, thank you, Governor. Thank you, Catherine. It's great to be here. And as the Governor says, another small business success story right here in Ohio. You know, when Governor Kasich appointed me, Steve Buer as administrator of BWC, he challenged us to make BWC a positive asset for economic growth here in Ohio. And some of the building blocks of that were lower and stable rates and better outcomes for Ohio's workers. Uh, I'm pleased to say that three years later, we've reduced rates for private employers in Ohio by $409 million from just three years ago. Public taxing districts, local governments are paying their lowest rates in over 30 years. Safety funding has increased. Claims have decreased. And last year, at about this time, the governor and I were together and announced the Billion Dollar Back Program. Uh, out of that program came a billion dollars straight back to Ohio employers and into our economy. Secondly, we tripled safety grants, and I'm pleased to report that in the year since, 535 businesses in Ohio or local governments have taken advantage of that $15 million and are using it to make their workplaces safer. And finally, early next year, we'll do the third part of that billion back program, which is giving a $1.2 billion credit as we transition from retrospective billing to prospective billing. Good news. Despite these efforts, we continue to have great obstacles and great challenges moving forward. And today, I'm very, very pleased to be here and announce that we're addressing one of those great challenges and great opportunities uh, as the Kasich administration is bringing forward its proposal to our board of directors to do another billion dollars back, uh, both the public and private employers here in the state of Ohio. We're also pleased to announce today an unprecedented commitment to safety up to $35 million in additional safety funding to help Ohio workplaces be safer and healthy, productive workforces across our state. Like last year, this re rebate is possible primarily due to great investment returns over the last year. Our net assets in the state insurance fund have grown to $7.7 .7 billion, which is out of the target range that our board of directors had established back in 2008. Uh, preliminarily, as we look back over the last three fiscal years, our return is 8.9% on an annualized basis, and last year alone was 13.3% in 2014. Uh, those are great numbers, and it's those numbers that have driven us above those guidelines and given us the opportunity to give this dividend back to Ohio employers today. Um, we believe at this time that it's prudent to do it because of the return, because of the position we're in, and ultimately, I want to reassure you that there will be no impact on injured workers or their benefit payments as a result of this, and no impact on the prospective program that we're working on uh, even here today. This rebate will represent about 60% of the annual premium of Ohio employers, again, both public and private. And it's been a neat thing over the last year to hear how those rebates last year impacted companies. Some of them invested in safety. Some of them invested in new equipment. Some of them simply put a few dollars away to keep themselves moving along from a cash flow perspective. No matter what they did, we've seen the impact in growing the economy across the state from that. We've also learned over the last year that investments in safety matter. Safer workplaces, they prevent costly injuries, and ultimately lower premiums and lead to better health for Ohio workers. Last year, as I mentioned, we had a record year getting $15 million in safety grants alone out onto the street for the use of Ohio employers. This year we hope to build on that success. And so although we've already had announced last year, Governor, the 15 million that we were going to do for this fiscal year, 2015, uh, we're announcing today that we'll do two additional years beyond that of the enhanced level $15 million. 
In addition to that, I'm also pleased to announce four separate initiatives in safety uh, that you're going to hear from some of our guests here today about. First, we're going to develop a safety curriculum and funding for skilled labor programs. The idea here is to provide safety training dollars for key skilled trades, especially those in more dangerous areas, construction, plumbing, electric, and implement safety as part of their training program. We look forward to partnering with labor, community colleges, others who provide this type of training. Number two, we're going to announce advanced research grants for workplace safety and health. I see my colleague John Carey from the Board of Regents is here. He will certainly be a partner with us. What we hope to do are to put out research opportunities for higher education or others who do this type of research to identify key hazards in the workplace and what innovations will make those better and then use our grant dollars and our promotional efforts at the BWC to then bring in the resources to address those safety hazards in the workplace. Number three, an expansion of our popular safety council program to include health and wellness in the workplace. One thing that we continue to learn is that healthy employees have less accidents and vice versa, those who have other conditions, diabetes, obesity, see increased risks and increased claims and accidents in the workplace. We know that by funding some programming through our successful safety council program, that that issue will move up in the priority for all uh, of those who participate across Ohio, over 9,000 employers. Finally, and certainly not lastly, we're going to provide funding for firefighter safety programs. Uh, State Fire Marshal Larry Flowers and I have been talking for at least six months about the need that he sees to get better training, especially for small companies and volunteer companies across the state who simply can't afford to send their firefighters uh, to some type of a training program. Uh, last year, his department was able to put $500,000 forward, and it simply wasn't enough to meet the need. So the Bureau will be asking our Board of Directors to approve a million dollars in funding this year to help local governments bring more people successfully into fire safety training, not only to prevent injuries, but to be a better service to all of us who rely on these type of people. We're very excited today that this program will help both employers and Ohio workers be safer and at the same time have a very stimulative effect on Ohio's economy.